Israel, where I was born. My heart, my country, music, my passion. This is what I love doing, what I practice my whole life to do. When I was 21, I left Israel and went on a big trip in the US. In the 12 years I spent there, I traveled all over the country, from Alaska to New Mexico, lived in New York, LA, Texas, and toured the country with all kinds of artists and played on all kinds of stages. After 12 years, I went back to Israel and tried to make my way in the local industry. A friend of mine got me an audition with one of Israel's biggest stars. I passed. In the next upcoming year, I toured the country with one of Israel's biggest productions. I got to play on big stages in front of thousands of people and hang out with the biggest stars backstage. Sounds like fun, right? Wrong. In Israel, musicians are treated very badly. I worked very hard as a kid to become good at what I do. I sacrificed many hours while others had fun. I dreamed of playing with the biggest musicians of my country and maybe the world. This is me 20 years later on stage with the biggest rock band in Israel, Hayyudim. That means the Jews. These guys were like Metallica for us. I admired them and I always wanted to play with them on stage. And uh, we always went to their shows and I always wanted to get there and be there on stage with them. Also on stage with me is one of Israel's biggest stars, during my one year in Israel's industry, supporting Israel's biggest act, I was treated like a no one, a simple soldier. Payments for shows were always late. Even though I was playing with one of Israel's biggest stars, I was still getting paid two and three months after the show. I was lucky. So many of my musician friends ended up not getting paid at all. My schedule was never respected. I had to pay for my transportation to pick up spots with all my gear while playing with the biggest star in the industry. My expenses never paid back. After one year of supporting the biggest act in Israel, I was still never recommended by any one of the producers to anything. I was always put in the back of the bus and given the feeling I was not a part of the crew. I was never invited to crew parties and was always treated like an outsider. After a whole year of big shows in front of thousands of people, I had to find out through my friends I was being replaced. Auditions were being held without letting me know what I did wrong or giving the chance to become better. For them, the producers, the singer, and the company, I'm just a tool, like a shoe. I can be replaced at any time, thrown away, no rights, no contract, no law to protect me as a musician. In a country that holds itself so high as the only democracy in the Middle East, there is no law to protect the ones who shape our culture, the musicians. After this horrible experience in the Israeli industry, I wrote a big post on Facebook about what I went through and started getting messages from musicians all over the country with horrible stories. Musicians not getting paid, musicians being treated like garbage, musicians being replaced without getting a call. Most of the music industry in Israel is owned by a few businessmen who don't care for the musicians at all. They bought the Israel's finest singers and with their money, they dominate the industry and the media. There is no union that protects the musicians in Israel. We desperately need a musician union, a strong one that can gather all of Israel's musicians under one roof and have enough power against the industry sharks. But power is money, and to win against these monsters, we need a lot of it. So I'm asking you today, if you love Israel and its music, if you appreciate the musicians behind the music you love so much, if you want to help and be a part of the change, if you believe in truth and freedom, please open your heart 
and give us the power to fight for what is right. Help us start the Musicians' Union. <laughs>